Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you how to dropship in Shopee Philippines. So if you're interested, let's get started. So in this case, starting to dropship in Shopee Philippines can be kind of complicated because in this case, there are a few things you set up here and also a few factors that you want you might want to consider. So first thing that you want to consider here is you need to first come up with an account and some details about that specific store that you are going to build. So first account. So the first thing you want to do is you want to build or create your Shopee seller account. So usually on Shopee's official website, at the very bottom, you should be able to see an option here that says Shopee Seller Center at the bottom here, as you can see right now on my screen. So in this case, you want to go ahead and open this up in a new tab and basically just sign up. So they might ask you to provide some IDs, some um, basic information about yourself. So in this case, you could also sign up with your Google account or your Facebook account here. Or if you want to go ahead and uh, enter the details manually, you could go ahead and do that as well. So in this case, you just click on sign up here, fill out all the necessary details, and basically create your seller account. Now, in this case, once you've created your seller account here, we need to now identify what platform that you are going to use. So we all know that drop shaving involves a third party or a middleman that actually handles the product itself. So generally speaking, drop shipping uh, allows you to, or in this case is a model or a business model that allows you to contact a specific supplier and the supplier itself also is the one that's going to ship it to your customers. So generally speaking, depending on the platform that you're going to use, you need to interact and basically um, have a system set up with your supplier. Now, how do you choose what are suggested platforms that you might want to try here? So there are a few platforms that you might want to try. So first platform that you could try here is going to be CJ Drop Shipping. Now, CJ Drop Shipping here is a website that allows you to drop ship from China. So in this case, usually at the very top right here, you should be able to see the register. So you could just type in CJ Drop Shipping on your uh, uh, browser. It should redirect you to CJ, CJ Drop Shipping's official website. Now, another website you could try here is Printify. So Printify allows you to create like t-shirts or items and print specific designs in your products. Now, they actually have a very specific model here, so you might want to uh, see or study the platform first before proceeding with drop shipping. And uh, also, you might want to try the follow website, which is going to use Pocket. But then again, depends on what you need, uh, you might want to choose the correct platform. So generally speaking, Spocket here allows you to uh, basically uh, drop ship different products that involves like uh, bags or clothes, so depending on what you need. And also, another website, which is a well-known website as well, is AliExpress. So if you're not aware yet, uh, AliExpress also allows you to drop ship uh, on their website. And basically, this is one of the mo uh, more uh, popular websites for drop shipping. So in this case, you could use AliExpress here. You could create your account and basically set up a system with your supplier and how the process would proceed on your drop shipping journey. So generally speaking, once you've uh, identified what platform you want to use, you could go ahead and basically on the connection phase of your different accounts. So since uh, your account here on uh, your platform or chosen platform here, you need to connect this to a platform, Shopee and the platform that you've chosen. So in order for you to connect that, you need to actually use a shop, uh, Shopify account which in this case allows you to download a few apps into your store. So let's go ahead and open up Shopify here. So I've just switched over to my Shopify account here. So what do we need to do? So uh, by the way, if you don't have a Shopify account yet, you could go ahead and go to Shopify.com's website and basically create your own account. They actually offer a one month free trial if you want to use it. But yeah, so in this case in your Shopify account, once you've chosen, uh, once you've set up your account here, what we need to do is we need to go to our settings at the bottom left and you want to go to your apps and sales channel and you want to click on Shopify app store at the top, right? Now, in here, what we need to do is we need to look or search for Shopee. So in this case, just type in Shopee and basically uh, search for it. And you should be able to see AC, Shopee, and Lazada, and TikTok, which in this case allows you to connect the different channels that you already have on uh, your uh, different accounts like Shopee. So since we already have Shopee, uh, we could uh, Shopee account, you could go and just basically connect that via this app here. 
So the only downside here is you need to have like three accounts for this one. So one account for your Shopee and one account for Shopify here to connect your Shopee account to the um, supplier or the dropshipping platform that you've used. Now, in this case, by the way, uh, in order for you to use this specific app here, you need to set up your store in the Philippines because basically this app is in this case you can only use this in the philippines but if you've uh just give you an idea uh if your store is located in a different location so let's go to general usually you have the billing address here so make sure it's actually set to philippines but yeah once you've set this in the philippines you should be able to install it and basically set up your account but then again make sure that you set up your shopify account here uh and yeah so in this case that's about it so setting up your account here is quite uh on um, this case um quite complicated but we just gave you the general idea here on what to do so yeah so in this case that's about it so hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to nft inspo thank you for watching